Good Tuesday morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Possibly some life-saving advice we are going to pass on to you right now, courtesy of Leonard Chan, who's a pharmacist, and we're talking about uh, naloxone kids. It's been in the news a lot lately with uh, opioid overdoses, uh, specifically with uh, fentanyl and carfentanyl. Explain, first of all, what those opioids are and just how dangerous they are. Yeah, so they're, they're very potent opioids um, that can cause overdose. Uh, last year, the Public Health Agency of Canada reported um, almost uh, over 4,400 deaths in uh, Canada. With in one year? In one year last year. Wow. With almost 1,500 of those in Ontario alone. Uh, and 73% of those opioid-related deaths were uh, related to fentanyl or fentanyl analogs like carfentanyl. Um, so what the naloxone kit is, is, is it's something that can save lives and it's something that we should consider having um, in our homes with our first aid kits. Um, it's one of the easiest ways to help treat overdoses. It's been said that this is just as important as a first aid kit in most homes. Mm -hmm. Well, um, explain first of all the physiology or the, the chemical makeup of carfentanyl and uh, fentanyl and it is popping up in street drugs. Yeah, so a, a lot of times um, with the street drugs, they're they're laced with fentanyl, and people don't know it. But um, and what's the reason for that? Just for that high to be a lot more extreme? It's just cheaper um, to cut it with that stuff. Yeah, and also, like a, t a lot of times when we think about overdoses, we only think about um, you know people in the street. But in reality, it can affect you know a whole wide range of people. Uh, it could be teenagers looking to get high or adults that perhaps are not using their uh, supply of narcotics appropriately, or it could be children that have been snooping around in their parents' or grandparents' uh, medicine cabinets. So opioid overdoses can happen really to anyone, and it's just something to be aware of. And if you have one of these kits, if it happens, you can save a life. They are free? They are free. You can pick them up at most pharmacies, um, and they will not only give you a kit, but they will also train you how to use it and uh, so that you're comfortable when you do go home with the kit. This is on the table at 1 minute and 15 seconds, the proper way to save any breathing emergency. The other one they showed you from the Ministry of Health Ontario, that kills any breathing emergency. It's rescue breathing first for a hundred sound medical reasons for any breathing emergency. someone um, is not necessarily uh, having an overdose something else maybe and they're with someone if this is administered to someone who doesn't have an overdose mm -hmm. what, what can happen so if you administer naloxone to someone that has doesn't have an overdose nothing's going to happen okay. so it's if you're not sure you can always give the dose um, obviously if someone's unconscious you want to call 911 first or if you suspect them of having an overdose you want to call 911 first there's uh, two types of uh, kits. There's one that's an injection and one that's a nasal spray. They both work well. It's just whether or not uh, the user is comfortable using an injection or a nasal spray. Okay, and the nasal spray is as simple as... Yeah. Um, make an appointment um, or walk into a pharmacy and ask them to train you for it. They'll go over everything with you. It also comes with a sheet that kind of outlines the directions of how to use it. Yeah, you can just hold yeah. it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's uh, pretty much a one sheet with diagrams. Diagrams, and um, just in case you forget, because when you're in one of those situations, it can be a little bit stressful. But uh, it's just something that it's important to have. So if you ever run into that situation, whether or not sometimes accidents happen, at least you're prepared and you can save someone's life. Has there been any studies done into the fact that, oh, see, I guess every case is different in terms of a batch, maybe a bad batch, but if someone is indulging in narcotics, they have a bad batch and it's been laced with carfentanil or fentanyl, can a person administer this themselves? What, uh, what, what happens to them, their mind, their body, their reaction time? So usually if they're overdosing... Uh